اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session we are going to look into how to use ChatGPT to generate article summaries. Now sometimes it is very difficult to read all the articles because we might have to go through hundreds of articles. Let's say you are writing an article on servant leadership or maybe knowledge oriented leadership or any other topic. Now a normal good article will require you to read around 100 to 150 articles. Now, it's humanly impossible to read all those articles. Now, you have two ways. Either you use Google Scholar to search for relevant information and then directly go into that information. Or maybe QDA Minor Light to search relevant information. Now, there is another way that you can use ChatGPT. You can create a summaries of different sections in your research paper. Let's say I'm reading this particular article here. development and validation of servant leadership scale in spanish higher education now i cannot read this whole introduction because i may not have the right the time for it so what i'll do is let me copy in this introduction here let me put this introduction here Okay, I'm going to copy in this whole thing. That's about it. Okay, let's do this. Copy, paste. Okay, here is the whole of the introduction. So, what do you want ChatGPT to do for you? Following. is the introduction from a research paper can you summarize the introduction let's ask that we do not remove the references or let's say in text citation when summarizing We'll stop. Let's see what we get. Press enter. So this is in the summary. Now it removed the references from the text. You removed the references from the original text when summarizing. Can you put in the references when presenting? the summary let's see what we get here it is so now you've got a summary introduction with the references now it's always a good idea to have a double check quickly read through maybe once one or two articles that are being provided uh, as summary by chat gpt so that you know that the summaries are correct do not blindly trust chat gpt Now moving on let's say let me ask this can you extract the gaps presented in the following introduction from a research paper let's say i'm interested in only the gaps that are presented in the paper then enter here are the gaps that are presented in the introduction from in this paper so this is how you can extract particular information as well let's say i'm interested in something else let's say stop this one okay stop in writing can you identify the contributions from the following introduction So let's see if there are any contributions in this text.
So here are the contributions that are presented in this whole text. So you do not need to read through every particular paper or everything that is in the paper. But again, it is very important to know that you understand where this text goes. You understand how an introduction should be written. If you do not know how an introduction is written and then this chat GPT or any AI tool is of no use to you because then you will be presenting your information in the wrong section and that will lead to rejection. Use chat GPT or BARD or any other tool but make sure you use it intelligently. Make sure you know what, what goes in a research paper. You know what a theory is. You know what a contribution is. You know what gaps are. You should know how and why you should explain the value of a topic. So you should know where you should put the value of the topic on in which part of the introduction, right at the start, in the middle or in the end. So if you know all these things, then only you can use ChatGPT in a better way. Now again, this is or these are the contributions. Okay, let's say, can you identify the theory used in this study from the following introduction let's say here it is let's see what we get if there is a theory used yes leader member exchange theory was used so now what i've done is i've copied one introduction I gave it to ChatGPT and asked ChatGPT to give me some relevant information, in particular the contribution, the gaps or any other information that was required. So this is how you can use ChatGPT to generate summaries from your research papers. Now let me look at one more thing here. Let's say if I want to compare something from the two papers. Let's say I've got these two. Let's say copy. Let me put this one here. And let's say I get the contributions of this paper as well. So I've got the contributions of two papers. Now this is the contribution of paper 2 and this is the contribution of paper 1. Now let's say following are the contributions of two papers. Can you identify the similarities and differences in the country? Contributions of the two papers. Let's see what we get. So you can compare two papers. Can we? Let's look. So both papers aim to address gap in the existing literature related to servant leadership and its impact on career and life satisfaction. This is right. Both papers emphasize on importance of assessing the mediating role. This is right. Now let's look at the differences. This is right. This is right. This is right as well. So it perfectly identified the similarities and differences in the two papers. So this is a very good tool to identify how different papers in their contributions can be compared or even methodologies. You can compare the methodologies that have been followed in different papers and then look at the value or the importance of those methodologies as well. I hope this session would have helped you understand how to better use ChatGPT for your research. Thank you very much.